Welcome everybody. Right behind us is not a home that we're touring, rather it's a new development coming to Brickle called 1428 Brickle Avenue. It's a brand new construction building that's in the works and honestly one of my favorite buildings that we have toured here on this channel. I say that a lot, but I mean it on this one. The finishes, the attention to detail, uh, and this actual model, the, the actual you know sales center is really nice too. So we're gonna take you and we're gonna show you the model unit, and then we're gonna tell you all about the building and the amenities and the location. So without further ado, this is all about 1428 Brickle. Let's go in. Welcome to the model unit. Now we're about to show you inside the model unit, but before we do that, we've got to talk about this space right here. This is your private foyer entry. Two private elevators that come right here. You put down your keys and then you go in the unit. Before, I want to mention you have really nice travertine wall, textured wall in the foyer entry here. And you also have the travertine marble floors, but I'll talk to you about that when we go inside. Let's go on in. So your front door, it's a fluted glass front door, which brings in a ton of natural light into that foyer that we were just in. And that door is like a piece of art. It's beautiful. Now, the actual floors, right? We mentioned it's a travertine marble floors, but I also want to mention that you have in between, you have bronze inlays, which is such a nice attention to detail, right? And when you're looking at it like the pattern of it, it really does look really nice. I love it. Now, we're in the actual model unit. The actual units will have 11 foot ceilings, which is not like this, it's more like this right here, which is actually really, really tall. Reference, I'm seven foot five. I couldn't even touch that. I'm kidding, I'm not seven foot five. I'm six feet, six foot one, honestly speaking, okay? I'm not like someone that says, oh, I'm six feet, but I'm actually 5'10". No, I'm actually like six, six one. Jorge probably says he's six feet, but he's not. Anyways, this is the space here. You have a family room and dining room area over here. It's a big entertaining space. I love it. And you're obviously looking out to these views, right? So you're gonna have water and city views. Every single unit is facing east, which the water is east, right? Now, so the higher you go up, right, the more you're gonna start looking over the buildings and seeing more water. So the higher up, the better the view, all right? Now, at night, I personally love, if you're, especially in the corner, certain corners, that corner on the north side, you're gonna have a beautiful view of the city, which is really, really nice. So you'll get kind of like the city and water on one side, which is kind of like what we're seeing now, right? Now, come over here. You'll notice you have these glass doors, floor to ceiling right here, really tall, all right? And this is actually separating the living space from the kitchen. The soft closed doors, Right, and they're really, really nice. Now, a few things. Those doors, they're trackless on the bottom. Right? You have the track on top. And the reason for that is because now it's not, it doesn't feel like a separation of space. You have the track down here, it's kind of separating space. Now it feels like it's just one big space that flows through, which it could be when you open it up. Now the kitchen is an award-winning kitchen by Arclinia, right? And this is the Principessa Convivium Collection. And it actually is award winning. It won an award in 2019. It's, and you'll see why. We're about to talk to you about the details. First things first, all right? You have here an oak wood countertop for your stool so that you have this Eden kitchen design here too. Now, if you notice in the bottom, this whole island is wrapped in stainless steel. It has stainless steel uh, cabinets, which are really nice and they have a tint to it. So it's not like that silver. It's a little bit tinted, which is beautiful. The countertop is a Pietra gray marble countertop with indentations here for your panels. So you can open and close this. You have your cutting board that you can have here and you can slide it and if you have water that comes out, it's not getting out of this indentation and seeping onto your cabinetry. So that's a really nice point that they made there. I love the faucet they have here. You have two sinks, one sink here and another sink over here. Similar design, same countertop with the indentation and you can move your panels around. And then here is a beautiful faucet as well, which is really nice. Now, if you notice on the backsplash, you have your travertine marble backsplash, but you have a built-in spice rack over here, which is so beautiful and a unique design. And it's so easy to use too. So we come over on this side here, you notice you have your Gaginal cooktop, you're cooking, right? Oh, soup, sopa. Mm. Oh, oh, wait, we need, a, we need to strain this pasta. 
I don't cook at all. So <laughs> if, if I'm wrong with my uh, depictions here, it's because I don't cook. But I do know that it's easy for you to get it to cook, right? Uh, and we have the pasta here for you. I'm not gonna bite that, that would hurt my teeth. But anyways, spice rack there, which is really cool, it's a unique design. And you can put like things like little cubbies, like you see here, throughout, because there's that indentation, which is really, really cool. Now, there's gonna be cabinetry up here, but for, you know, this model, they kind of left it like that, but the cabinetry will look like this, and it's a wood cabinetry, which is beautiful. Gaganau appliances here, there's your microwave and your oven, and then you'll have a refrigerator and freezer here, which is also Gaganau as well. And it's panel ready, of course, so it all looks nice and flush. And that's the kitchen. So you have that space there, which is nice. These glass doors, you can divide the space. You can have your chef cooking in there while you're entertaining out here, or you can open them up and make it one big space to entertain. That's why I love those doors. Now, uh, this is a nice angle you see of the space here, but let's go and show you the bathroom finishes because the bathroom is absolutely beautiful. And then we'll tell you about the building. Now this is the primary suite bathroom. And honestly, it's an important bathroom because this is where you're gonna be every single morning. I'm gonna tell you about the details here and what I love about the bathroom. First things first, you have double vanity over here, so no sharing of vanities. And the vanities are in a travertine marble as well, the cabinetry and the actual countertop as well. And then you have this painted glass uh, on the back end behind the mirror, and the mirror has this really nice LED, which is beautiful. Now, the actual marble that's on the wall, this, this is called Travertine Chocolate, and it's textured as well, which is really nice. I just learned that about this, and I had to say it the way that I was, that it was said to me, Travertine Chocolate. Doesn't it make you just want to have it in your bathroom, just saying it? want to bite it like it's chocolate. Ha! Now over here, you'll notice you have the painted glass that's going to be in the shower. It's also going to be here as well. This, this is your water closet, okay? Now it also has the travertina chocolate around as well, which is nice, and that's nice and private. We don't usually show toilets in this channel. Now, this is the actual shower. It's a wet room, which is really, really nice. You have that painted glass back, and then you have double shower heads two handhelds so you can sing, the body jet, got a bunch of jets going on. And it's a big wet room. And then of course your tub, right? So your tub here, right, just to give you reference. I'm seven foot five. I'm seven foot five minus, minus a foot and four inches. And I have a lot of leg room and space here, right? I'm, I'm fully extended really nice, but I love how it's like a piece of art and it's actually kind of low too, which I like because I don't have to do like a massive step like that. I just do a little, you know, step, all right? Now, also I didn't mention the vanities are floating with LED lighting below, which is beautiful. And your travertine marble with bronze inlays continues in the bathroom too. This is your walk-in closet, which will be fully built out just like you see it here. Obviously it's gonna vary and be different when it's built, but just to give you an idea of finish wise, right? Uh, beautifully appointed, really nice cabinetry here. It's actual wood as well. And um, honestly, this closet is really nice. I would even go to put maybe like an island here, you know, depending on the size of the closet and the unit. Obviously sizes of everything that we've seen will vary depending on unit sizes. Uh, so that's something to note. And speaking of unit sizes, I think now's a good time to talk about the building and the units, right? George, I think, I think that's the case. So let's go down and go in front of the model unit and we can show you, well, actually this is the model. We'll go in front of the model and we'll tell you about the building and the units. Let's go. Which way? <laughs> Got you. So here we're gonna to talk to you about the building. 1428 Brickle Path. Tell you about the units and the building itself. So it's 70 stories tall, all right? And you have 189 residences, ranging from two bedrooms up to four bedrooms. And of course your penthouses will be larger than that, all right? Square footage starts at about 1900 square feet and goes up to 4,100 square feet for the standard residences. And then obviously larger, like we mentioned, for the penthouses. Now, pricing, I think we just mentioned that, right? We did. Now the actual building, 
There's 80,000 square feet of amenity space, which is unbelievable. So we're gonna start on the eighth floor here. Eighth floor is where you have a lap pool and a covered jacuzzi with tons of lounging and area space to get your tan on. That's where you're gonna do that. Now also on this floor, you have a cinema room, you have a kid's playroom, and you have the guest suites. You heard that right. So if you have a unit here and you have guests and you don't want them to stay in the actual unit, you could have them stay in the guest suites that are on that floor. That's a really unique and cool amenity to have. Now, we go all the way up. Instead of having rooftop penthouses, they decided to give the penthouse or the rooftop back to the actual unit owners, right? So on the 66th floor, you have a whole floor just for spa and gym, just for your wellness all that, it's the wellness floor, right? Over 10,000 square feet of space, right? And then on the 67th floor and the 68th floor, you have a really nice area that you can lounge, you can hang out, couches, uh, meeting rooms, a little office area, and then you also have your wine room. And it's a massive room with all the wine cellars. There's 189 wine cellars, and why do you think that is? because every single unit comes with its own wine cellar that fit up to 70 bottles. You heard that right. So that's a great space so you can really get to know your neighbors and have like more of a community feel while drinking some wine. Let me tell you, if you own in this building, you're never gonna be whining. Da -da 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 -doom. Right? All right, now that's 67, 68th floor. Now we're gonna go up to the 70th floor where you have your rooftop pool and you have a huge space to entertain, to hang out, and there is a bar, okay? There is a bar up there as well. Now, oh, I also have to mention, since we're talking about, about bars, right? In this wellness floor, there's actually a smoothie bar as well, so that way you're working out, smoothie, all right? And then we go down on the eighth floor, and there is actually a kitchen and bar there for the residents as well. Residents only, not for people outside who don't live here. Obviously, if you're a guest, so residents and guests only, right? now. We talked about the units, we talked about the building, the sizes. I wanna go back to the units and actually mention the balcony space as well. The balcony spaces are really big. They're 12 to 15 feet in width. So they're big balconies. So it's another space to entertain. Now, on these lower floors, you'll have five units per floor. As you go higher, you start having three units per floor. There are 34 duplex units that are two stories that are unique and spectacular spectacular, right? And then come to the back, come over here. I wanna show you something real quick so you can get an idea. The back actually looks like a spine, right? And if you notice in the middle where it has that curve and goes in, that's solar panels from here all the way up that powers parts of the building, which is unbelievable. And it does really look like, like, a, like a, a spine in someone's back. And here you're getting a view. Now, let's talk about location because that's a very important thing here, all right? We'll mention it because we have the streets here. It might be a little easier for you to see. This is South Miami Avenue, and this is Brickle Avenue over here, right? So you do have entrances off of Brickle, and then you have you know service entrances and other entrances off of South Miami Avenue, and you're walking to everything. Let me give you an aerial. Come with me. Now, there's a little event going on here in the sales center, so excuse the noise, but on this side over here, you have a really nice aerial of 1428 Brickle. So this is the actual building here, right? This is Brickle Avenue along this way. So we're on kind of like the south end of Brickle, right? Brickle City Center and Mary Brickle Village will likely, uh, or rather Brickle City Center is right here, okay? And then Mary Brickle Village is right here. So you're only like a few blocks away and you're on the south end of Brickle, which is really nice because it's easy access on South Miami Ave or through Brickle to go down south. So if you have schools and you wanna to go to the best schools in town, your kids you want to go there, you can take them to the best schools in town that are down south as well, right? And what's nice about this location right, is that the units are all facing east and they're looking over the buildings to look at the water view, which is obviously a spectacular thing. And in Brickle, it's very hard to find that. Right? Now again, residences start from $2.9 million all the way up to $60 million. Now, honestly, this is one of my favorite developments in all of Brickle. Great location, very walkable, and the finishes are so, so nice. The attention to detail is unlike much that we've seen. So this right here could be yours, but if you want it to be yours, shoot me an email 
right down below you'll find our email there youtube at jonathanvegagroup.com and make sure you like subscribe and comment because we're bringing videos like these to you every single weekend we'll see you in the next tour and i'll see you when you're looking to buy or sell a place down here peace and love i'm following him for the food Thank you so, so much for watching the tour. If you like what you're watching here, we got a few other videos for you to watch. We do them every single Sunday. We got one property tour right here and, and the most recent one right over here. And make sure you go down and subscribe as well and we'll see you in the next video.